All right, high water signs, welcome to your mid-April love reading. We are gonna get started pretty soon. I took a break from the last reading till this one. So we'll see where my energy is at by the end of this video. But one thing's for sure is that this day is taking a lot out of me. <laughs> I think in a good way, I mean, stomach and back and everything's like kind of intense, but um, I've been really paying attention to my energy levels, laying down, resting, using this yoga block to support my back, things like that. So hopefully this message resonates with you, this reading. Um, I'd love to hear the feedback in the comments below. Positive feedback is always welcome. Um, and yeah, let me know if any of you out there would like more specific love readings or readings in general, um, where I do like three separate videos, like a reading for Cancer, a reading for Scorpio, and a reading for Pisces. Um, Cause that's sort of where this is all heading. <laughs> so this is just sort of <laughs> to test the waters. <laughs> But anyways, we're gonna look into what is going on when it comes to your love life, your situation. Um, we're gonna be looking at your love life in the recent past, your love life currently, and where things are going um, pretty soon or in the near future. And then we're also gonna be looking at some opposing energy for that. So. In the recent past, and later we'll pull cards on some advice as well. So in the recent past, we've got the Page of Pentacles. To me, this is saying that some of you out there have received an offer in terms of love life. So maybe an earth sign, if that resonates with you. Um, but I'm getting a more just that it's like a practical offer that there's actually been a person that has been interested in giving you some sort of uh, either a relationship or um, a chance meeting, something like that, trying to make plans with you. Um, others of you as well, this is like in the recent past, your love situation is that you've had to let someone go. That's definitely a vibe that I'm getting here. So just because of how many different things this page of pentacles can represent, I'm just gonna flip some clarifiers, but definitely with the page of pentacles. And before I look at whatever this card is, you guys can look at it though, if you want. Um, before I look at that, the page of pentacles, to me, this is signaling that this has to do with an actual person. Um, now, if you have earth in your own chart, like if you're a Pisces sun, moon rising with like an earth sun, moon rising, or like, sorry, any water sign. <laughs> I think about myself when I think about water signs um because i am a pisces i'm also a cancer rising but anyways you can be a water sun moon or rising and you might have earth sun moon or rising or earth might just be really prominent in your chart um and in that case that's kind of a different message i'm getting but generally i'm getting that this is very much so like another person um that has been in the recent past that's uh, either had to let you go or they, they chose to let you go or vice versa. Something about that, for whatever reason, that's sort of the vibe that I'm getting. Um, or in the physical world, you've been given an opportunity recently that is going to play a role in a love offer coming into your life. Um, whether that be from another person or for those of you who are just looking for like universal love, like as an energy, self-love. Um, it's like whatever opportunity has happened recently is providing you tools and resources to pretty much nourish yourself more with more self-love. So it really depends on what you're here for, water signs. But generally as like a love reading, I would see this as a person who's come in. So clarifying it, we've got the hermit card. Okay, so yeah, this can be something about the matter of the self. But I, what I'm getting is that like, 
recently you've been really reflecting on who you want, what you want out of life, things like that. Clarifying more, we've got the Sun card and the Queen of Pentacles. So it's definitely been a positive, transformative period in your life that has helped you gain stability in the material world. So whatever changes may have happened in terms of your love life in the recent past is benefiting your physical well-being, uh, maybe your financial well-being, uh, your health, of course, in a very positive way. So some of you, love is like kind of all around you recently, um, but it's very free flow and it's very beginning stages with the Page of Pentacles, whatever this is all about for you. Um, but generally it's very, very healthy for you. And uh, my siblings are about to show back up, so I might take a minute, um, but we will see. Uh, but the opposing energy we've got is the King of Wands, which might be the challenge behind this energy is feeling confident that everything is happening in your favor. So I say that these opportunities are not super clear. They're not very obviously positive. Um, they are positive, but for you, your challenge is seeing it through that perspective at times, because it could be a very challenging period uh, in your life that you had gone through when it comes to your love life. So that's what I'm getting in the recent past. In the present moment, we've got the Two of Cups. So presently, it does look like there is some sort of person that you have been coming together with, water signs. Yeah, one second. Hello. Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Hi. Hi. In that case, would you be willing to put the lawnmower away? Yeah. Okay. The shed is open. It's not the main shed, it's the very back shed. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna clarify the two of cups. <laughs> Sorry. Um, we're getting the death card, the knight of pentacles, the eight of wands, and another card wants to come out and the four of cups. Sorry, another one, and the five of cups. Wow. So first I'll just hold them up one at a time. Here we've got the death card and then the knight of pentacles i love it when these two cards come out together it's so transformative and like there's usually a clear message there the eight of wands is also very clear so the two of cups clarified by all of this this is saying that this is happening in us a, a cycle or a transformation you know it's a transformative period so you are coming together with the two of cups here some sort of offer but the four of cups is like but am i gonna take it i'm getting like you're not really taking the offer or like every time i feel like some of you water signs this is number of a number of uh people this is number multiple suitors you know because i'm getting like like you've been turning down offers like there's been something in each person that you meet that there's some form of familiarity oops wrong card there's there's some form of familiarity some form of mutual feelings there um but ultimately it wasn't quite everything the death card and so you continue moving forward and it keeps happening quickly in succession so i'll give my own example like i met five people in a row uh this was a month ago now and all five people were all aries and then the sixth person i met was a sagittarius it was like all the airy all the baby fire signs combined into one <laughs> it was cool anyways the same thing is happening but with a different element for me right now different sign but once again back to back each person happens to be the exact same sign to me that's not really a coincidence that's very synchronistic you know so something like that could be happening for you water signs in the present moment like um leveling up bit by bit step by step um so each opportunity sort of not being the full picture of what you're looking for. But generally in the present moment, this energy is what's harmonizing. 
that somewhere in the mixture of, of the, the melting pot of your love life, of all these suitors, there does seem to be someone that you can really come together with. The Five of Cups here, it's very interesting that we get the Four of Cups and then the Five of Cups right after. Um, it's almost like you end up turning down certain offers because as tempting as Spirit tries to make them seem, it's like, first of all, you're not even emotionally in the place to give those sort of sudden new sparks um, that much of your energy, you know? And also, if they were that strong of a connection, then they would be the two cups behind you that would get your attention. So you're like, yeah. So like for me, there's like someone I'm basically mourning my loss from in terms of a relationship. Then there's someone that I really feel a strong connection with who's not really ready. And then there's a bunch of people that kind of keep coming my way that are interested in me and that like I'd be kind of willing to but then right before we meet up I'm like I just kind of know it's gonna be a one date only type of a thing like I usually try to give people a chance but I've gone through that with so many people namely those Aries that I was talking about where I was like okay each it was like you know why try something when you kind of already know how it's gonna go you know it's also like well, you don't technically know until you give it a try, but it's like, generally if the connection was strong enough, then like, I would probably be willing to give it a try, you know? So take this how it resonates for you. It just seems like you've been getting signs from the universe that you're coming together with someone here, for those of you that resonate with this, but that ultimately you're not really in the right space to give smaller sparks that much more of your time anymore it's, it feels like in the recent past obviously i resonate with it but in the recent past you did because you were still trying to figure yourself out you're still trying to figure out what offers were were the real offer like which you know because whatever that is for you and then it's like you've already experienced that now so in the present moment, you don't kind of, you're kind of like, why waste my energy? I already know I'm going to give it a try and then just realize that it's not the same and that I still miss uh, whoever, you know, or that like, that it's, it still feels like you're, that you deserve something much more, something much better than whatever that situation is. For me, obviously those are going on like lousy dates. I end up there and then I just miss my my ex, my partner, and just feeling like, yeah, I actually don't need to be here right now. Like, I'm not doing anything. This, this is a date that's going nowhere, you know? That's how I relate to all of this. So in the present moment, in the Eight of Wands clarifying all of it, it's like something is happening. It's in the material world, it's happening slowly. But in the spiritual world, it's happening very fast. So I feel like you are having communication going with a certain connection and that things are happening there. But this is a very like, there's a lot going on, you know? So what's the conflicting energy here? Yeah, the Knight of Cups. I'm kind of not surprised. The love offer. Who is the the proper love offer, you know? That's, I think, resonating with some of you water signs out there. Obviously it resonates with me, but this is not a coincidence. Three knights, or the death card's not really a knight, but you know, three cards that are all, you know, someone on a horse presenting something. There's the death card that's presenting, um, you know, marking the symbolism for uh, transformation, a transformative period that might not look good, but actually could be a good thing, just depending on your actual experience of going through a death cycle yourself. Death is obviously very serious and uh, can be scary, of course, um, but maybe there is something beautiful behind it. Um, because when we go through these versions of um, a death transformation, 
in the material world and on a spiritual level, um, which brings about physical transformation as well, sometimes we see that it was actually for the better, that there was something good behind it, you know? So I believe death can be quite a spiritual thing. Anyways, we've got that one offering this symbolism of transformation, uh, symbolizing uh, an ending and, an, and therefore signaling an upcoming beginning. And then we've got someone here who's got armor on as well that is presenting a physical offer, much like this page of pentacles who's got this offer falling right off their fingertips like it's not quite and it fell. The Knight of Pentacles is being careful, making sure that they don't drop this offer anymore. So there's a transformation where someone who maybe dropped the ball before is working on picking it back up and not dropping the ball again. Yeah. And then we've got the last one, which is offering a cup instead of a coin. Yeah. Opposing energy here. Sorry. Um, we've got the Knight of Cups. So, like I said, these are both offering something unique. And this is kind of like a cycle here. And the challenge here is waiting for it to become a full, clear picture. Kind of what I was getting at that, like, a lot sort of happening and everything's kind of murky but generally it's coming together. But in the present moment, I feel like it's not quite together yet. So, in the upcoming energy, we've got the sun card. <laughs> so this all comes full circle because earlier we clarified and got the sun at the beginning. Um, so yeah, it does look like things go very positively for you. Uh, as the Eight of Wands was signaling, and same with the Two of Cups. I feel like eventually this becomes a lot more clear. Like I said, it's been murky in the present moment, but in the near future, things will become much more clear as to where things are going in your love life and where things actually are. So if any of you have been really confused as to how it's all going to play out, <clears throat> I feel like very soon you're gonna reach the culmination of your efforts here so i'm not going to clarify that that just sounds very positive what's the opposition here we do have the devil's card so i'm getting like the sun and the moon or like light and dark here Got the Queen of Swords on the back of the deck. So let me clarify the Devil's card. The Lovers. The <coughs> Sorry. The Lovers and the Devil's card are pretty much the same card, but they're polar opposites at the same time. As you can see, there's like two people in the Lovers card. They feel free, even though it was like divine timing and planning. And in the Devil's card, they feel chained and stuck um, by this person who claims to have all the power and control when really they have the free will to walk away from this energy at any time. So these are very much inverted versions of the exact same thing. So... In the near future, maybe what's going on is a very good thing but your challenge is that you might not be trusting that completely. You might be wondering, is this really right? Is this my choice or was this put onto me? Is this really what I wanted or is the universe 
deciding for me. Is this what I want or what they want type of an energy, you know? So that's what I'm getting here. Two of Swords, some sort of indecisiveness there where you're not quite sure yet. There's still confusing energy in the near future, but with the Sun card, it is definitely much more clear. So let's clarify the Devil's card with one more. Sorry, I guess a few more. Seven of Cups, the Ten of Wands. Yeah, confusion. Um, trying to figure out how to let it go successfully with the Six, six of Wands here. Um, the Knight of Swords and the Moon card, which is what I was seeing as the Devil's card here. So... The challenge could be that in the near future, things are going once again positively and successfully for you in your love life, but you still keep feeling like revisiting the past, whether that's a past connection or just a part of you where you feel like you're still not ready to pursue this yet or um, that you've got other responsibilities that are on your mind that then confuse you more on whether or not you're really ready to experience this um, this new love or this this new part of your journey, whether it's um, a rebirth of an of a connection or taking things to the next level with someone. For those of you who are with somebody already, um, but generally that's the challenging energy that I'm getting for you, water signs. Obviously, with this being a collective energy for Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, this is kind of like a big mixture of all those energies, water being the kind of most emotion-driven sign uh, of the four elements. I can tell a lot is going on in everyone's love lives here. Um, and everyone's kind of at different places, but at the same time sort of in the same place. It's pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and just pull some advice for the past, the present, and the future. So the advice in the past is going to be how you can apply your your past experience that, that was going on in your love life um, to help you in the present moment gain clarity. And then the present is just obviously just advice for the present. And then future is advice uh, for the future when you get there. Some advice to keep an eye out on. So your advice about the uh, the recent past is the Hierophant and I forget what this card is to me in this um, in this deck because it's been a while I think this is saying go for what you want the experiences from the past are to help you really listen to yourself what you desire, especially desire. I kind of remembered with the rock there that this is your desire card or the, sorry, the desire card. Um, yeah, specifically your desires when it comes to bringing you pleasure, um, joy, happiness, satisfaction. The Hierophant is kind of like knowing you're on the right path. path. So this is saying as advice, is to look at the past and trust that it happened for a reason, that you're where you're meant to be, that things are happening correctly. That might be difficult in the present moment with the Five of Cups showing up at times in the Four of Cups. That makes you feel like maybe regrets or that you wish you did things differently. But this is saying to remind you that this is actually for your highest good. You are just being authentic. Uh, to continue being true to who you are um, and that you're that what's happened in the past is actually going to be a, playing a big role in bringing you what you really desire um, into a whole new level which is always a good thing so your advice for the present moment is the two of cups to trust the two of cups energy here trust where you're at in the present moment trust the love that has been coming your way if any of you have been receiving any sort of love offer from someone that you really feel pretty mutually about really good about um mutual respect love maturity um this is saying to go with it yeah um 
that maybe now's the time that you deserve to come together now uh, on an emotional level. Maybe in the mis mis sorry, maybe in the material world, um, this is going to be a process that takes time. But in the emotional realm, you deserve to feel and express to your fullest potential at this moment um, and to, to trust that and to give into that feeling. So I'm getting like maybe turn down offers that that you don't feel like you can take right now in the physical world. You know, someone wants to give you an offer and you're like, yeah, but they're like across the world. Maybe they're not that far, but you know, just things that are outside of your realm of capabilities right now, you know, can be frustrating and makes you feel like you can't take up the offer. But this saying like, right now just trust it that the timing is gonna show up eventually where you can come together and i feel like it's pretty much it's like now towards the near future so it'll depend on the timing for each of you but i feel like those of you who have been in communication with people or with a very particular person that you feel some two of cups vibes with that plans are coming together your advice is to kind of be receptive and open to that, um, as well as the butterfly card, which is the card of transformation. Um, so then your other advice is to also keep letting this transform into many forms. Um, being open to that who you are coming together with now uh, or who you've connected with, being open to that you guys might transform to something completely different um, or this is saying like, like how I was talking about earlier with how I went on multiple dates that this two of cups vibe, it might transform person to person. Like you might be meeting person to person, kind of connecting with multiple people. Um, it's really whatever this means to you, water signs. Um, but this is definitely saying that like your love life is going through a transformation. That's just the energy there. Um, and the advice is to go with it, be open to it because it's actually quite a good thing. And for those of you who are unsure about that, the near future with the sun card kind of confirms that it's definitely a good thing. And I feel like the more open you are to this energy, uh, the more you'll see it. So your advice for the end is the king of cups, as well as the coral card. What is the coral card? Um, I think it's like hardships. So the King of Cups is about someone who's overcoming all the emotional turbulence, staying grounded and above the waters, no matter what feelings they're experiencing. They know that they're a force to be reckoned with. The King of Cups knows that the way that the ocean is moving is connected to the way that they are emotionally feeling. So if the ocean is rough and the waters are really intense, that's because this King of Cups is emotionally intense and has a lot of feelings that are firing them up. And they're making sure to keep, they have a lot of self-control with their emotions. They're feeling it, but they're not letting it overcome them. So your advice for the near future is to basically have the emotional strength and endurance to not give up, to really push through. I feel like there's definitely some challenging energy going on in the near future when it comes to your love life, even though really good things are happening in your love life. So I think it's on a personal level for you. It, again, it could be that things are going well, but that with that five of cups there and with what's going on in the near future, that you might just intuitively know that whatever you're doing right now with like new connections or whatever, or uh, with whatever you're doing, that there's just something more or that there's something unresolved in the past. That's a big one. Um, that's a more broad way to put it uh, or something else. But yeah, your advice is pretty much to kind of like stick together with your, uh, your heart. Don't fall apart on your situation in the near future quite yet I mean it's okay to emotionally kind of like cry break down feel what you're feeling you know I, I don't want anyone closing up their heart space or anything I just mean like 
just be careful with your feelings. Make sure that they're in check, that you can get through the rough times, that you still experience the sun. You still experience the positive things that are actually happening uh, in your life in the near future. So let's clarify this advice just to be sure. Two of Swords, Temperance, Three of Cups. Yeah, some of you who feel like really stuck from the past or from needing to heal more, this is saying to like, don't let that stop you from at least experiencing the love that you are, uh, that is being offered to you in the present moment and in the near future. Okay, so that's what I've got for you, water signs. So some of you, this is a more personal thing that's just internal work. Others of you, of course, it can be that, but also that it's about a past connection that you're still healing from, or just lots of experiences that you're still healing from. Trauma, perhaps, um, whatever it is to you. But yeah, that's what I've got for you, water signs. And for any of you who are wondering if I favored the water signs above the other signs, that is not the case. This just became a longer reading because there are literal distractions that extended the video so yeah i had a feeling but i'm also okay with it too but yeah here we are um this did end up being the longest video due to that but i hope you all enjoyed this reading and i will talk to you all later and then yeah let me know if you all would like personal readings on this or um my personal, you can obviously book a reading, but I mean, um, if you want me to do three separate love readings, like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, uh, I might do a poll later. I might not do a poll. I might just do it, but yeah. All right. Have a good one, everyone. Bye.